Hey folks, it's Mark and Bob with Fire Mountain Outdoors. What do we got here, Bob? The Sig Sauer 716 pistol. It's not a rifle, it's a pistol. And this is an AR-10 platform. 762 by 51 or 308 to some of y'all. There's a lot of power in this. Hey, we're gonna take this out to the range and go shoot it, so come on with us. Hey folks, Mark with Fire Mountain Outdoors and we're taking a look at a really, really cool weapon right here. This is the SIGTAC SIG 716. Now, you may recognize the shape. Oh, hey, look, it's another SIG SB15 equipped pistol. This is in 762 by 51. Uh, you old school guys will recognize that as 308. There is a ton of firepower in a very short, compact weapon, and I'm really excited to shoot this. Uh, some really cool uh, features that SIG has when you buy a SIG instead of building your own. I noticed that it comes complete with ambidextrous safety and uh, mag release. So if you're a lefty or if you had to shoot with your weak hand, it's already equipped like that. Uh, comes with the SB15 stabilizing brace with a spacer for those of us with longer arms and it's a piston gun has an adjustable gas block up here that you can even actually turn off so if you're going to run suppressed you could turn that off and then just cycle it single action uh, or uh, one round at a time uh, first shots fired we're going to run this thing and see what it what it does You know, the the, uh, the recoil wasn't as bad as I was anticipated. This this weighs a little bit more than the typical AR-15. It does a good job of absorbing that. This uh, crankob style of muzzle device is keeping the muzzle flash down. You can see a lot of smoke. There's a lot more powder burning out of that, that 762 by 51 versus a 5.56 round. What do you think, Bob? You want to shoot it? Uh, does a Sasquatch poop in the woods? Well, unless he's close to a rest stop and they have porcelain and paper and all the amenities. Well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and shoot this as intended. Well, of course. I mean, that, that's why we got it to be going. That's right. You got your stabilizing brace. Uh, well, dropping the bolt while you have it in there, I mean, it's difficult. So we're going to try this again. As intended. All right. You're going to have to put a little bit of urban cant on that, Bob. Okay. I need to work out some more. There you go. <laughs> okay. Are you working up to it? This is Bob from Fire Mountain Outdoors, and this is the Urban Sig Brace. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 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 Cause that's the way we do it with the Sig Brace. Oh. No, that's not the way we do it. This is the way we do it. No, that's 
that's the way you do it. It's actually the first time I've shot an AR-10 platform, and, and, I, and I like it. I like it a lot. The SIG is really nice. It comes out of the box, really set up. I'm sure you could build an AR-10 pistol for less than this, but the way SIG integrated everything right out of the box with the full factory warranty is really, really slick. Nice setup. What are your impressions of the 716? The 716? You know, I've owned, and you probably you remember shooting the Scar 17 that I have. Uh-huh. The Scar Heavy. You go I would there. take this over the Scar Heavy. I shot the Scar Heavy too, and I concur. That, if you're going to want a big bore AR-10 762 by 51 power and platform, this, and look how compact it is. It's ridiculous how small it is. Yeah. You know, this does weigh more than what the Scar weighed, but this is so much better built than what the Scar was built. You know, the Scar seemed to me like, you know, you had to be a little bit more careful with it, you know, because the stock, there was so much plastic in it, the lower mm -hmm. receiver, the polymer. But, you know, I had to be really careful with that. I had a couple pieces on it that actually broke on me. But this, I mean, it's it's an AR. It's a platform that we're all familiar with. We know how to take it apart. We can get parts easy. It's a SIG. It's piston driven. It's smooth. And it's just, it's it's incredible. It's a great little pistol. You know, we, we uh, broke it open and, and cleaned the bolt and everything, Bob. And that's a, that's a huge benefit of a piston gun like this. There's a little bit of a weight disadvantage, but guess what? It was it was clean in there, a lot cleaner than a DI rifle would have been. Oh, absolutely, and it just, you know, it you know, being a little bit heavier, the the recoil really wasn't there. It didn't feel like you were shooting in a 308 or a 7.62 by 5.1. It was just a, a real joy to shoot, and look forward to getting a whole lot more trigger time behind it in the future. It's just a real solid platform. It, come, little it comes set up really nice uh, with the ambidextrous controls and already equipped with the stabilizing brace with with a, a spacer. Just a just a really nice firearm. A lot of power. I really liked it. I enjoyed the heck out of shooting it. Yeah. So, hey, I hope uh, you guys enjoyed coming along with us for a shoot. And if you enjoyed this, go ahead and make sure you uh, give us a thumbs up on the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. That makes a that makes a big difference. It allows us to get cool stuff like this to uh, test and review and show you what it's all about. That's right. Where else can they find us, Bob? You can find us on Facebook. You know, that's where most of the conversation happens. You know, throughout the day and stuff, we're always checking on our uh, cell phones and whatnot. So we're staying in contact throughout the day. So if you want to get in on the conversation, you can find us over there. You can also find us on Instagram. You know, we're posting up photos, you know, some behind the scenes type stuff. So that's right. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Catch y'all later. Yeah, we worked all week. Cleaned up, clean cut, and clean shape. Get the cover off the 68. Fire it up and let them horses sing.